Hi everyone, it's me, Scary Larry Japan. I'm sorry for my raspy voice today, but uh, yeah, I just have allergies and I think I maybe overindulged last night on some alcohol. But anywho, so today I'd like to talk about three products from Roto Pharmaceuticals, aka known as Roto Seiyaku here in Japan. And the products are known as their Kyokujun series. Let's go ahead and break them down and I'll give you my thoughts and review. So what I'd like to do first is let's talk a little bit about, about who Roto Seiyaku is or what kind of company Roto Seiyaku is. So actually they're a huge pharmaceutical company in here Japan. They don't only produce skincare products, but they also produce anything from diet supplements to pharmaceutical goods. So it's a very large company and this is just one small part of their company, which is the skincare line. Also, this is a small lineup of products that they offer in a huge lineup of goods. But these are the ones you do tend to see more often or you quite often in drug stores here in Japan and usually you tend to see this one the most commonly which is the Hadalabo um, Hyokujun Alpha series. So the Alpha series is very interesting because it's known as an anti-aging product and Japan they have you know two types of cosmetic products here in Japan. One is cosmetic grade products, which is there just for moisturization. They don't have any traits that will supposedly fix your skin. So for instance, a lot of anti-aging products, if they say the word anti-aging on it, um, it's not considered a cosmetic grade product, but it's considered a quasi-drug product. So all of Roto Seiyaku's lineup of these products are under cosmetic grade. So they're not scientifically proven. So let's go ahead and start with this one. This one is known as the serum. So this is the Alpha Serum. I don't know if you can see it. It's been quite used, as you can see. Um, it's really, really 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 thick <laughs> i can't explain like i would not use this in the daytime especially if i plan on going out in the day which is fine now because everybody's working from home because of you know the current situation but this product is actually quite nice it does say that it has 3d heronic acid in it the key selling point is that it has collagen or estalin in it as well as heronic acid so this is what's really good and the top 10 products in here are actually quite nice as well i did make a list up so of course the number one product is going to be water followed by glycerin, um, then there's opium cross polymer, DPG, those are the first four, and then from then on it actually starts breaking into like the different types of heronic acid in the product. So the first one is the heronic acid cross polymer, followed by deglycerin, and then um, sodium acylated hyaluronate, as well as heronic acid, and then hydronolyzed hyaluronic acid, so there's a bunch of different heronic acids in this product. However, another good thing this product has is it does have water-based collagen in it and it also has soy milk ferments filtrate, which is also very good for your skin and helps with showing like less wrinkles or not those little really fine wrinkles on your skin. But like I said, this product is quite thick, so you don't want to use it in the daytime. You don't want to use this product in the daytime due to it being so thick. Um, however, speaking of daytime products, I think the other product they offer is the Kyokujun Premium line, which is this one that you tend to see in the blue line. So it is the same price as this one. These are, they don't differ in price very much. Maybe by a couple of like 30 yen or so. But this product does not have, it's not part of the Alpha series. Instead, it's known for its moisturization properties, not for anti-aging. And looking at the ingredients here, it's very similar to uh, the other one. However, the first ingredient, of course, is water. But instead of glycerin, they use PG. So PG is also humectant, used a lot in cosmetics. However, it is synthetic compared to glycerin. And then they use hydroxyl urea as well as PG. And then they use the glycerin. And then around the sixth or seventh ingredient is when they actually get into the heronic acid. So this one, despite saying it has a lot of heronic acid, it is quite down on the label. So I feel that it doesn't feel have the same moisture properties. It does moisturize, but you don't feel that very stickiness, like the stickiness you feel with the Alpha series. So this was a good product if you want to use in the daytime, and it's at a very good cost point. It's around like 10, less than $10. However, uh, yeah, I kind of felt that it was a little bit, mm, I put it on and then I thought my skin dried up instantly especially in the winter i think maybe in the summer would be great but for someone like myself who does have dry skin and i do need a heavy cream or a heavy serum in order to put the moisture in i wouldn't recommend this product 
Uh, also a good point about this one is it does not, and both of them I believe, do not have any ethanol or scents, and they also do not have any parabens. So if you really have sensitive skin, these are very good products for you. Uh, the last product, which I don't have anymore because I've used it up <laughs> and I've thrown it out, toner of the Alpha series, which is right here. So it's very good. I found it to be very thick and it is very moisturizing, just like the serum. And I think it did serve well for morning and evening usage. So you don't have to worry about the serum so much because it's not as sticky, but this toner did quite well. You know, you put on the toner, then maybe a light lotion, kind of like the one in the Sana Sawa series I did before. However, the good thing about the actual toner is that the ingredients tend to be more natural in the sense that the first one is water, followed by uh, propendiol, which is um, a plant-based or corn-based Humectant. So unlike other ones out there, DPG or more synthetic, this one's 100% plant-based and also has a lot more moisturization, moisturization properties to it than glycerin. So it does have, it's natural, but it's also a little bit better in the sense that it does moisturize a little bit more than BG and glycerin would as well. And then from the fourth or fifth, from the fifth ingredient on is when they started actually um, formulating more of the hyaluronic acid, the hyaluronic acid, the three different types, which is the sodium hyaluronic acid, the acylated hyaluronic acid, and then also the hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, which is water type. And then after that, they also invited elastin as well as collagen. So they do have the same exact ingredients as the serum, except instead of having DPG or glycerin, they're using propangiol, which is a very safe alternative to other synthetic humectants on the market now. So, final thoughts. Would I recommend these products to friends or you guys? And I would say yes. Um, I think it's a good product for the price point and you do get a lot of moisture out of it. And it is quite popular. Like even this Alpha series is almost impossible to find in my area because it's always sold out. If you have dry skin and you want a good moisturizer, something that's cheap and doable and you can use at night, I'd recommend the Alpha series. If you have oily skin or skin that is a little bit more on the normal side, I would recommend the Premium series. They're good Bye. products. I do like them better than other Japanese products I've purchased in the past. However, I did find Alpha series a bit too oily despite having dry skin and I found the Premium series to be a little bit too dry or not have enough moisture for my skin. So maybe I should find something in between in their lineup and give it a review. But thank you for watching my video today and I hope you have, you've enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me anytime and see you later. Bye.